नमस्ते टू ऑल आई एम अनिरण चक्रवर्ती आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग माई पेपर ऑन काउसलॉटर इन वेदिक योजना एंड इन्वेस्टिगेटिव स्टाडी फॉर द अंडरलाइन ट्रूथ द वेदस आर द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट स्पिरिचुअल रिसोर्सेस ऑफ इंडिया ए लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ वेदिक लिटरेचर कॉन्टेंट्स द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वेरियस योजनास योजना हैज बीन प्रैक्टिस इन इंडिया फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम सो सिपरल प्रोजेक्टिव पार्ट्स हैव बीन इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन मेनी केसेस this addition and misinterpretation have undermined the glory of the vedas in the absence of uncovering the real truth those misinterpretation have been established in the society among different types of vedic sacrifices one of the most significant yaga is pashu yaga the propaganda of violence in vedic yajna started with these particular types of yaga vedas never support violence the welfare of all is the message of the vedas it is found in the shanti parva of the mahabharata that the use of fish meat shura or alcoholic beverage etc in yajna is the feat of the kani these are not in the vedas sura matsa pasur mangsham swang dijatim balis tatha dhurtai pravartitam yajne naita dvedi shukathate cows are given special respect in the vedic literature the protection of cows is mentioned in the vedas and subsequent sanskrit literature through this paper i want to present an argument in favor of the fact that the vedas doesn't support cow slaughter according to itareo brahmana vedic sacrifices are mainly five types hom ishti pashu shom and shatra in the early vedic period the sacrificial procedures were simple but grew complex over time the long span of time has led to significant grammatical and semantic differences between vedic and classical sanskrit language moreover the most significant feature of sanskrit language is that each verse has different meanings and as the vedas are the spiritual text each word carries an inherent different meaning understanding these meanings is essential for the proper comprehension of vedic mantras opponents of the vedas cite animal sacrifices particularly cow sacrifices to tarnish the vedic rituals they likely unable to understand the true meaning of the vedic mantras and sacrifices the term advara an adjective of yajna signifies non violence in the nirukta acharya yaska said dharati iti hinsha karma tat pratishedah advara sacrifices including gomedha and ashwamedha do not inherently prescribe animal slaughter medha doesn't mean slaughter but rather yajna such as pitrimedha basically performed for the peace of deceased soul another yaga is purushamedha it was performed at the starting of banaprastha ashram it a transition ritual where 11 men are symbolically born but not killed similarly all the many ferocious animals were brought to the sacrificial ground during the arshameda yajna but they were released after the ritual the killing of horse and other indecent activities were probably subsequent addition in later periods the vedas are transmitted orally for centuries leading to laws main interpretation subsequent commentators were largely focused on sacrificial rituals following some deceitful practices to infiltrate and become established over time western scholar primarily following the interpretation of acharya sayana and mohidhara moreover they aim to convert indians to christianity influencing their interpretations later sanskrit indian scholar also didn't challenge traditional views to uncover deeper truth these all references are given in full paper with proper citation the discussion now turns into the topic of cow slaughter in vedic sacrifices cows were worshiped and protected in the vedic period with various sanhita explicitly prohibiting cow slaughter punishment for cow killers is also found in the atharvaveda sanhita supporters of cow slaughter in vedic rituals cite terms like yagna atiti gomeda yajna however the root harm doesn't solely mean to kill but also to move to acquire the word gati to move has also three meanings wisdom movement and receive in that case gaurhannati means to go to the cow or to receive the cow 
guests were given cows at that time. That is sampradana, not healing. Panini's rule, dasha gakinam sampradani can be mentioned in this context. While Gomeda is used in the first mandala of the Rik Sanghita and Ramayana to mean cow killer. It is never used for the guest in either Vedic or classical Sanskrit literature. Sanskrit literature contains numerous descriptions of hospitality, but none suggest the killing of cow to feed the guests. Supporters of cow meat for guests point the term Atithikva. Acharya Shayana and Shami Dayananda Saraswati interpret the word Atithikva as one who served guest. Not only Indian scholars, but also Western scholars like Professor Monier Williams, Professor Bloomfield didn't accept any violent meaning of the word Atithikva. The term Gameda Yajna comprises three words, Go, Metha and Yajna. The word Go has various meanings like direction, vision, heaven, thunderbolt, arrow, water, earth, speech, light, wisdom, knowledge, etc. and cow also. Therefore, Gomeda Yajna can be interpreted variously like uh, making the earth fertile for crop production, donating cows, or imparting grammatical knowledge to others. It is found in the Taitiriya Aranaka that Annam by Gau, which some misinterpret as cows being food. However, this phrase means that cows and food sustains us and should both be preserved. Manusriti condemns animal slaughter and meat consumption. The Mahabharata also opposes animal killing. In Kalidasa's Raghuvamsham, King Dilipa is willing to sacrifice his life to protect the cow Nandini. The ancient Aryans worship cow as mother, as stated in Gavu Vishashamataraha. The Santibarpa of the Mahabharata emphasized that using intoxicants, meat, and animal sacrifices in ritual is a practice introduced by deceitful people and not supported by the Vedas. In the end, it is said that ancient India never usually supported animal slaughter. May the auspicious thought of Veda resonate in everyone's heart. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Makaschi Dukshabhag Bhavet Om Shantihi 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 Namaste.